In this video I will be talking about everything you need to know about the new MineLab Equinox 900 metal detector. I'm gonna jump into the details, the specs and let's just see what the new metal detector has to offer. Let's jump right into it. Let's jump in and look at the new MineLab Equinox 900 metal detector. Here you can see the looks of the detector. The control panel looks the same as the previous models, but the shaft is highly improved. Same shaft, I think, that the Manticore has, and I love that one. And then let's look different. Uh, yeah, it has the multi IQ advantage and search modes. It's waterproof to five meters, and this is how the control unit looks like. It has better target, uh, target separation than before and flashlight there in the, in the speaker built in and light and compact look in how small package this goes. I love the new carbon shaft, but let's jump in to check the specs in detail. The Equinox 900 tech specs. This is where the interesting stuff happens. The Equinox 900 has four search modes, Park, Field, Beach and Gold. Uh, same as Equinox 800, the 700 and 600 doesn't have the Gold mode. This one has the All Metal shortcut, yes. This has eight search profiles and it has the user profile button. The Equinox 900 comes with six different frequencies 4, 5, 10, 15, 20 and 40 and of course the multi EQ. If you don't know what the multi means, that is Mine Labs high tech technology. It means that the metal detector uses all of these six frequencies at the same time. You could say it's six different detectors working simultaneously if you dump down the explanation. The noise cancellation it has auto and manual ground balance, it has auto manual and tracking, it has sensitivity is actually 1 to 28, it has a little bit higher sensitivity than before. The 700 had 1 to 25. Target volume is 0 to 25, threshold level and pitch 0 to 25 as well. Target IDs, 119 target IDs, so it's the same as the Manticore. Iron IDs are minus 19 to 0 and the non-iron is from 1 to 99. Target tones, 1 to 5, alt tones and depth tones. Tone break is, you have more tone breaks here than the 700, you have iron, non-iron, T1, T2, T3, T4 and tone pitch and tone volume is adjustable from 0 to 25. The recovery speed, recovery speed is 1 to 8 that you can choose from, iron bias is 0 to 9, so you have more depth in the recovery speed and iron bias or by with depth I mean more to choose from. So that's great, that's great. They have done some improvements in that. Depth indicator is five levels. Uh, discrimination ID is 919 the same. Pinpoint mode, yes, wireless audio. And this collapsed length is 61 centimeters and the extended one is 144 centimeters. The weight is 1.27 kilograms. I think it has gone down a little bit from the previous versions, if I remember correctly. Same LCD screen, display and the keypad, the backlight. They have four modes, off, high, medium and low. Flashlight it has, that's great. And vibration in the handle they have added. And the coils that you will get with this one, the package is the 11 inch double D coil and they have added also the 6 inch coil. That's, 
that's a good improvement. The audio outputs are of course the speaker, the wire that you can put the headphone wires and of course the wireless headphones that are included and they have actually improved the headphones the previous MindLab Equinox 800 had ML80 so they have probably made some better changes on these headphones. The battery is the same 3.7 volts same as 700. Uh, additional included accessories are getting started guide, screen protector and charging cable. It is waterproof until 5 meters so they have made some better improvements on that. I think Equinox 800 was 3 meters. Operating temperature, yes, you wouldn't go outside of these de degrees to detect and storage you would probably not store in minus uh, outside in minus 30 or 40 degrees. The key technologies are of course the multi-EQ that I already explained. These are the new MindLab Equinox 900 tech specs and in my opinion they look great. What are your opinions about the new MindLab Equinox 900? Let me know in the comments, I would love to hear your opinion. And of course if you are interested about the MindLab Equinox 700 or the comparison between the 700 and 900, you should check out my videos about those.